Hey everyone, so today we're going to do just a quick yes or no uh, question for spirit. So think of a question in your head before we get started. We have five piles to choose from. Go with your intuition. You can pick what deck you like the most or call to the most, the stone uh, or the dice. So we're going to do a quick three card spread to get a yes or no answer. And to confirm it or make it more clear, we're going to also do some dice divination. And I might pull a little card here. These all have uh, answers on it from the bag. And I have my pendulum as well. We may or may not use that. I'm just going to go with what spirit tells me, what my intuition says. So do the same with picking your pile. Timestamps will be down below. And once you pick your question and uh, pick your pile, pick your deck, then you can click that and I will see you there. Okay. Hi group one, so you guys chose the traditional Rider Waite deck, <laughs> my like tried or true, this deck is falling apart, um, and then the I like crystal and the blue die, so you must have your question in your head already, if not, think of it, so spirit for group one, please provide three card overview blob spread, and show the outcome of this answer, and I should have said this in the beginning, um, I'll just say it for each group that if you do not like the outcome or the answer that we get from Spirit today, I suggest you use this as a tool um, and look at your actions and see if they're in alignment with getting what you want or with this question. Um, you know what I mean? Yeah, use this as a tool or just as entertainment, whatever you want to do. But um, Spirit will put pile one, for the people watching this for pile one, well, they're, what is the answer to their question? Three card overview spread telling us the answer to this question and giving us some information as well. Spirit, yes or no? Yes or no to pile one's question. Thank you for your clear and accurate messages and guidance to my spirit guide, to the spirit guides of everyone watching. Thank you for protecting me and everyone as well. And thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yes or no? Yes or no. Hey, are there three cards here? I didn't even notice that. Interesting. Yeah, okay. Um, that's really interesting. I didn't even see that one card over there. It looks like the answer um, just right away is yes, and you won't have to work hard for it. Um, so we have the chariot, which is a victory, like without having to lose your morals. Like, so that's great. And then the eight of wands. This makes me think that whatever you're asking is going to happen quickly. And I looked at this card, like my intuition went away, the three of coins reverse is like, that makes me think of like someone at work. So I'm thinking, yeah, I think this, whatever your answer is, is a yes, and it will happen soon. If that's the case, like, especially if this is a work related issue, I think things are going to move forward. And if, if this is a relationship issue, um, like I th see these people coming together and also teamwork, like working in action. I think things are going to move forward in a positive direction for you in that regard or in any kind of relationship. It could be with family too. One person may have to like take the higher like road and just like, you know, join the forces together. <laughs> that makes sense. But I'm seeing a yes right now. So now I'm going to roll this die right here. I have this list. Oh, I can show you. Sorry, I'm showing the frame right now. We're not going exactly off this. Um, well, we are for this dice, I guess. I don't know. I'm going with my intuition, but we're going to roll this. It has... Oops. Oh, shit. I wonder if I should look at what that number says. But, yeah, it has 20 on there. Okay. Spirit, please confirm this yes in everything I said before for my group one. 11. Isn't that what I... Nonsense is the answer for 11. So, I think 11 in general is... Lucky, and also since 11 makes me think of like joining two people as well, and one plus one equals two. So I think a lot of people watching uh, in my pile on this is a relationship or a friendship or family question or something to do with another person, and I think this is a good sign, but I think you have to push some things behind you or put some things behind you and look at the other person's point of view. Um, in any situation, even if this is like work, whatever, whatever your question is, I think to get the answer yes um, to your question, you might have to put an end to something that nonsense or just like, you know, forgive and forget and move forward. Um, if that, take that as you will, but yes, that I see 11 as a lucky sign and yes, maybe even some of you are looking to travel. Um, that is a definite yes because we have the chariot and the eight of wands upright. 
or a new car. If you're looking for a new car, I think this is very fortunate. It just looks like you might have to work on communication, potentially. So now I'm going to use my intuition or intuitively draw a card here. Spirit, just one more confirmation for my pile one. <laughs> I don't know. Google it. Take that as you will, too. Um, that's funny. I mean, it's not, you know. I don't know, Google it. So maybe um, that's a sign from Spirit that it, the answer might be easier than you than it seems, or the uh, you know like how to get what you want, how to get this outcome. Um, that you may be overthinking it or something like that, and that it's really just like a Google away, you know, if that makes sense, or one action away. Like just have to take some steps, and you will get you know, go in the right direction. It shouldn't be too hard. And I see that too. It shouldn't be very chaotic. Look at this unified effort right there. I mean, this, I wish they were all upright, but right away with my intuition, I got that it won't be hard work from that card. So, in 11. So it looks like it's a yes for my pile one. Uh, let me know how it resonated. And uh, yeah, if you're not already subscribed, I would absolutely love it if you did. Thank you to everyone for watching. For liking and sharing my videos. You guys are the best. I appreciate you so much. I'm just so grateful you're here. Information for private readings and donations, which are never expected but much appreciated, is all in the description box. So thanks, Pylon. Moving on to my pile number two. So, get your question in your mind. Spirit, please provide a clear and accurate answer and a message guidance for my pile two regarding your question. And if you guys um, do not like the answer that we get from this reading, I suggest using this as a tool and kind of like, oops, um, kind of look, um, or not kind of, look at your actions and um, everything you do like in thoughts regarding the issue at hand or the question at hand and see if your actions are like aligned with it with getting what you want and you can use this as a tool that way to kind of adjust things so things end up differently or just take it as you will take it as entertainment um don't even listen to me i don't know <laughs> but i just want to put it out there that you are uh the master of your universe you're in charge so uh you know things can change but spirit what is the answer to the question for group number two Yes or no? Please provide three cards for my pile two, showing us the answer to their question. Thank you so much to my spirit guides, our spirit guides, and our angels, everyone above. Thank you so much. So, what is the answer for my pile number Ooh, one card at a time, please, spirit? Sun reversed. Ooh. Oh, see, you're the magician of your own life. <gasps> hmm, we got three major arcanas. Hmm, so I feel like things are definitely at a standstill. Maybe negative going on. Um, I think I literally said the magician, like you're in charge of your own life. I mean, I said I didn't say magician, did I? I don't know if I did, but I feel like I did. Um, I feel like I said that for a reason, because I don't think I said that in the last group. I feel like... The answer for my group number two is no, you're no unless you step up and make some changes and believe in yourself, be more positive, and take action. Especially with the magician in the middle. Yeah, so I think it's um it's possible, but right now, as things currently are, it's a no. Because if it, the death was upright, like that's great. That I'd be like, yeah, for sure there's something changing, but it is stagnant. There's no rebirth, there's no nothing going on there. Um, and then the sun, too, is like a negative outlook because I see it upright like it's a positive thing. And then we have only one card upright. So, yes, if you want this to happen, the outcome to be yes to the question you asked, then, uh, yeah, you got to be more positive, take more action, like, and it's possible, but as of now, yeah, no. So let's confirm that, Spirit. Can we get a number for dry divination, please, to confirm this information? Thank you so much. Five, five. Well, that's interesting, a double number, but we add this up to ten. Um, and that says doubtful, but I like that it's five, five. Hmm. So, yeah, it says doubtful, which goes along with what I was saying before. And now, um, let's get one of our little cards. So, 
Remember, use this as a tool. I, feel, I said that to you guys for a reason. And five, five, yeah, I think. And if you're one, five says great fortune, so there's one five. So I feel like, yes, if you guys put the effort in, you can change this for sure, but I feel like you have too much doubt in your mind. Five is all about change. So that's another confirmation too, that's number five. And kainite is this, this is kainite. Um, it's not a stone that like, absorbs any energy or puts out any energy. It's supposed to use to be used to guide you like um, to a new pathway. So I think, yeah, change is needed, but it has to start with you. You can't just expect things to happen. I feel like that is coming through for you guys, but. Oh my God, this is weird. This one was for the next, for the last pile. I don't know, Google it. I got this too for them, but for you guys, I feel like you gotta take charge and not just ask other people. Like this would be the like someone's response or the universe. Like do it. You know you can do it yourself. Go get up. Get up out of the couch. Go 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 get what you want. Uh, yeah, it's like started there. Um. So yeah, it looks like as of now, as things currently are today, the answer is no. But you have the power, the ability to change it. So let me know if that resonated with you guys. My pile number two. Um, remember, you're the magician. You're in charge of your own life. And it's three major arcana. So I feel like this is a major thing and something to reflect on. I hope um, it was helpful. Let me know. Um, take it as you will. But yeah, I'm so grateful you're here. I hope you consider subscribing before you go. Uh, if you want a private reading from me, there is um, my email down below as well as well as how to donate to the channel if you so wish but never expect it i'm just so glad you're here and i hope you guys have a lovely day bye hello my pile number threes you guys chose this one so you have a question in your head i hope um Spirit, what is the answer to my pile number three question? Yes, I know. We're going to get three cards to get the answer and any messages and guidance. And pile three, just I should have mentioned this in the beginning, so I'm measuring it to each group. Um, if you do not like the answer that we get today, use this as a tool. I suggest you do that to kind of, you know, like reflect and look at your actions and thoughts and see if they align with what you want. Like, and maybe some things need to be changed because you are the master of your life. You are the magician of your life. I said that in the last group. Um, so if you don't like something, uh, you know, you can change it. So we're going to get the answer as of right now from Spirit. So Spirit, what is the answer to group three's question? Yes or no? Three cards, please. Yes, no. And please provide any... Um, oh, shit. One card at a time, please, Spirit. Um, those flew out. Apply my phone, but... Uh, thank you. One card, please, at a time. Three cards showing us the outcome. For question or for pile number threes, oh, question. Ace of Pentacles upright. That's a good start. Especially if you're asking about money or something material. But let's see what the other cards are. Aces always amplify the other cards. And then we have four of coins. Upright. And then the three of wands. So it's looking like a yes from you guys for sure. So if you guys are asking about something material, like you want like a new home or car or something like that, um, I'm thinking, yeah, you just you definitely need to put some planning into it. Like three, oh wait, four one. I thought this was a two for a second. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, the ace of pentacles definitely shows me a yes. And doesn't it kind of look like a bullseye in the middle? Like, yeah. Set your sights, you know, say to the universe what you want, you know, manifest that. The three of wands definitely is like plans in motion. Uh, and the four of pentacles too makes me think that like you're getting what you want. Maybe you're being a little stingy with money right now in order to save for something. Um, but no matter what your question is, it doesn't have to do anything to, <laughs> with that. It could even be about a relationship, anything. Whatever your question is, it's looking like spirit is saying that the answer is yes. So that is great for you guys. I'm just seeing if there's anything else I'm getting from this. Yeah. I am just getting this message from Spirit that it's, it is a yes, but you have to put it out to the universe. Actually ask for what you want. I'm getting that for sure. I don't know what. Like if you have the eye, your eye on the prize, I'm hearing from Spirit. 
it's yours. Just <laughs> ask for it and it is yours. Yay. So let's get some confirmation from Spirit. Oh, I love getting it. Five, one, so six. It says naturally for the answer. So, um, and also five and one just separately are great fortune and yes. So it's a definite yes I'm seeing for my group. Number three, um, just turn what it's dice divination said. Um, I don't always go through a list, but like, or I just go with my intuition usually. I usually actually don't even use that, anything like dice. I use dice all the time, but I felt called to do it today. But anyways, all three of yours. Uh, yes, great fortune. I'm seeing, yes, definitely with these coins too. And naturally. So it looks like it's a yes, but let's get, just confirm one more time with these little cards here. Um, I'm curious. I wonder if you guys are what you're, what you're trying to manifest right now, if that's applicable. <laughs> It'll happen naturally. Just say it, let it go, and let it come to you. But I don't even know if you have to do that. It's coming anyway. Wow. Yeah, you guys got all positive in your reading. Your future will bring in, will bring many blessings. So, yeah, group three. Looking good for you. <laughs> so I hope you liked this reading. I hope it resonated. I'm happy for you if you wanted the answer to be yes. I guess some people might ask a question they want the answer to be no. But anyways, I'm having, I have a feeling if you chose this pile that uh, you want that answer. But yeah, let me know how it resonated. Um, thank you so much for being here. If you like this video, I hope you consider subscribing before you go if you haven't already. If you want a private reading for me, information for that um, is down in the description box along with any ways to donate to the channel. Never expected but much appreciated. I'm just so happy you're here and I hope you have a great day my group three. Bye! Hi group four. So you have a question in your head. Spirit, please provide us with a clear and accurate message showing it the answer to group four's question is yes or no. And for my um, group fours watching, just so you know, if you don't like the outcome of this, the answer, uh, use it as a tool, I suggest. Um, so kind of look at and think about your thoughts, your actions, and see if they align with the outcome you want or you can just take this as you will for entertainment, whatever. I just like you to know that, um, you know, the future is in your hand. You have some in input. This is the answer as of now. So yeah, use it as a tool, change things if you want a different answer. You are more powerful than you think you're powerful. So spirit, yes or no, will pile for the answer be yes or no? Thank you spirit, spirit guides of those watching your clear and accurate messages. What is the answer to group number four's question? Thank you so much. Three cards. The first one is six of cups reversed. Let's write two more cards please. What is the outcome? Three card over the blob spread. What's the answer? Yes, right. Now we have Empress. Probably zoom in a little bit more, huh? have two cards being on blue, let's go there. And then we have King of Swords reversed. Interesting. Something is telling me that the answer is no, and, and, well, it, but it could be yes. Um, you have to let go of something in the past. Six of Cups makes me think of like old friends, family, old relationships I'm getting. Um, and the Empress is showing like moving forward like a yes if you can move past this and get out of this emotional mindset and think more clear and cut literally like see how he has a sword like cut ties with anything that is not serving you and keeping you from getting the answer you want to this question um but once you get into the right mindset and cut off bad um connections you have bad thoughts bad behaviors bad 
uh, like addictions or anything like that, I'm saying too, maybe uh, for some people, that it is possible for you to transform and get the answer you want and have the life you want, but there's some changes that need to be made. And I think it has to do with past relationships or connections in any way. It doesn't have to be love, but you know what I mean? Um, or a past wife or a husband or whatever. Uh, any kind of relationship, you have to either mend that, just forgive, forget, move on, and also work on your mindset regarding the issue as well. Cut ties, like literally, with what's stopping you, um, and that could be mentally or physically. And then once you do that, you will be able to transform the answer into yes. You are this fertile empress that is able to manifest what you want. You just have to make some changes, is what I'm getting from this reading. But let's confirm it. What dice was it? The yellow one? Yeah. Spirit, can you please provide us some confirmation? Any additional messages for my pile number four? Number four, it, the answer is be wise. Yeah, that, I think that kind of confirms it. Uh, be wise. So, yeah, think about what's stopping you from getting the answer you want. And then let's get one more. Spirit, Spirit, thank you for your guidance and messages. Just one more confirmation or any additional thing for our group number four, please, regarding their question. Hmm, interesting. So what I, this is, it is certain. And what I heard right away, it is certain that you can be this empress, like, getting what you want if you make wise choices and listen to the advice we got from spirit to cut bad habits, bad behaviors, bad people. And just, I think this mostly has to do with thoughts of the past, like maybe regrets or anything like that. And I'm getting from spirit, like, it's time to forgive yourself mostly and others. And just, it doesn't mean you have to actually forgive them. Just like, just move forward. Like, you know, you know, just like in your mind, be like, um, I forgive them for what happens, but I won't, or I for. How do you say it? I don't know. I'm like stumbling over my words right now. I feel like there's something that's been really hanging, like, oh, it's in your mind and it's kind of stopping you from moving forward. And Spirit is saying once you get rid of whatever that is that's blocking you, then it is certain you will get what you want. You'll transform to this beautiful life. But I hope that resonated, my group four. Let me know uh, if you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, I hope you consider uh, subscribing. Why am I, <laughs> I guess, like losing my... Uh, my voice right now um but i hope you consider subscribing before you go if you haven't already if you guys want a private reading my information is down below along with ways to donate to the channel but not expected just so happy you're here i'm grateful for you guys for watching my videos for liking them and yeah i hope this was helpful i'll see you soon bye group number five let's see we've got a few minutes left on here so Think of your question. I'm going to actually move to the other side of the camera. I think now. Um, so, group number five. Last but not least, Spirit, what is the answer to their question? Please provide a clear and accurate answer. And my group five, I've been seeing this rubber group because I forgot to in the intro. If you do not like the answer to the question we got, oh shit, sorry. <laughs> this is a brand new deck. It's all slippery. Um, but I was saying, if you do not like the answer, then I suggest using this as a tool. So if you can think about what your actions are and thoughts and everything regarding this situation, this question, and do they align with the outcome that you desire? And if they don't, you can, you know, change things a bit because you are the... Um, person in charge of your life, and you are more powerful than you think, my pile number five. So, Spirit, please give us three cards giving us the answers to this question. Yes or no for pile number five. Yes or no. Thank you so much for your clarity and accurate messages. Spirit and Spirit Guides above. Um, so, we have the. I think that's Ace of Swords reverse. This deck is different. <laughs> is there? Yeah. Yeah. So, right away, I'm saying no, but let's get more. Ooh, good too. And then we have the eight of coins. I know it's called something different in this deck. Reversed. And then we have the two or I have to look I think this is actually damn it. I don't even know. This deck is <laughs> different. It looks like the two of wands, but then it has this above. So I think it's a court card. Or is it wheel of fortune? 
bit and eleven. I, oh, I have the guidebook right next to me. It's like I knew. <laughs> Let me just restart the camera really quick. I'm sorry. So sorry about that. Uh, it look. This is actually the King of Wands here. I couldn't tell because I didn't know if I was counting the wands they're holding. So that one's upright. So, but overall, it looks like with the first card being the Ace of Pentacles. I should actually check that now and make sure that's. God damn it. <laughs> Okay, so this is actually, the fact that this is taking me, the other groups I was able to like whip it out, I feel like it's really going to take some work to get the answer you want, but, um, so this is the Princess of Pentacles, so the Page of Pentacles reversed, not the Ace, but, uh, the fact that I thought it was the Ace reversed means like defeat to me, but anyways, we're going to go with, uh, what it says in there, so... It looks like some people may be neglecting their physical well-being or disconnected in a way, um, not focused, maybe materialistic, but uh, the eight up of coins reversed uh, also makes me think that enough effort's not being put in for what you're desiring. Like, I think some people may be desiring to be this, like, king of pentacles, more stable, or be with someone more stable, have either their, like, financial life more stable, their work life, their relationships in life, um, their current like love, love relationship or marriage, uh, but spirit is saying that you need to put the effort in if you want to get the answer to be yes. So as of now, I'm seeing a no, and I'm getting this message from spirit that yeah, you need more effort needs to be put in for sure. Um, you can't just expect to get the stable life. Um, like, see, everything about this is stable. He's holding both of those. He's sitting on, like, a wheel. Uh, but, you know, you got to train to be able to do something like that. Be on, like, a uni unicycle envisioning for some reason. <laughs> holding two things. You know, you can't just, like, hop on and do it. Like, ev you know, everything in life takes a little bit of effort. And Spirit is saying that, yeah, you need to do more work. And I'm getting, for some people, since I had to grab the book for this one, uh, you got to do some research. Got to plan better. And it's possible to get what you want, to be this king, but as of now, the way things are going, you need to put in more effort and, uh, yeah, maybe just learn a little bit more about what it is if that applies to some of you and take care of yourself first. I think some of you guys may need to take care of your health or well-being before and, like, put your mental health, too, for some people before you can get stability with someone else. Then it's coming through for at least one of you guys right now from Sphere, but let's get some confirmation. So I never use this dial because like, it's only like increments. So I might use another one along with it. Ooh. Oh, wow. It's all zeros. Zero, zero. Yeah, it's, no, it's going nowhere right now. Um, the answer is not, like, you know, whatever this thing you're asking about, it's not going anywhere um, at this present time. But let's, let's do the purple. I mean, haven't done the pendulum for any group, but I guess maybe we'll do that for you guys too. <laughs> Since you guys are taking longer, oh my god. Seven two. So we had a nine. So seven is have faith, and then two is no. So, and then together it's nine. I don't know. But I, I would take it as the first one where it's going nowhere, but yeah, have faith in yourself. Make sure, like, you know, you have, you know what's right. Listen to your intuition. Um, and it could go either way. No, and of course. <laughs> so you guys, I, I, sorry, let's get a card now, too, for you. Or maybe we'll do the pendulum, too. I have to program it, though, make sure it's, it's working right. Should I ask him? Do I have a cat named Emmy? Okay, 
I see it moving. Yes. Can you guys see? I want to, I ask you guys like you guys are here. Um, is my name Emily? Yeah, that's the program, right? It's like, no, good. <laughs> what is the answer to group number five's question? Rephrase. Is what I said correct? Well, is the answer to group number five's question no? Something needs to be changed and worked on first. That's so confusing. It's not really doing much when I ask. Um, Spirit, what is the answer, yes or no, to group five's question? It's unsure. I wish you guys could see it like I could. I don't know, but I'm, it's unsure. It's saying so. <laughs> um, let's get a card, too, to see. So... This is the only group actually that's like unclear. Well, actually, it's not that unclear. It's a no, unless. But that was interesting. I could like feel it pulling to the unsure too, and it wouldn't move at first. It said re rephrase, and definitely knew my name wasn't Emily. Um, well, obviously, spirit. <laughs> Maybe there's an Emily here. So hi, uh, but spirit. Thank you so much. Um, we know that. Well, we already talked about it, so that's probably why you're like, why are you asking this? Because uh, they don't like when you ask the same question over and over, but just confirmation spirit. But anyways, yeah, if you guys want the answer to be yes, you don't like to send, you have to um, rethink. you got to do some research. you got to plan better. you got to take care of yourself. you got to um, put effort in. But I'm getting for some of you self-care, like take care of your mental and physical well-being, and that will help everything else in your life out. Like you'll be able to manifest Pretty much anything. Once you're well, everything will come easier to you. The spirit's saying right now. Oh my gosh. And then we got your angel guides are helping you. Yeah, you guys, if you're not already like talking to spirit and your guides, um, now is the time to do so because they are here and then they are listening to you. Oh my gosh. This is, I'm like, I feel something right now. I feel, I just got like a chill. Um, yeah, you guys, your spirit team is here. I feel like a lot of you guys might be feeling kind of unwell right now, and I'm really sorry if that is true, but no, you're not alone, and that you have the ability to do anything. But you got to take care of yourself before you can, you know, get the life of your dreams, be that stable life, and your angel guides are there. They're literally telling you that right now, but they are. Uh, I, I can feel them. I can, and yeah. They want to help you get what you want. So reach out to them, take care of yourself. And I hope this resonated and was helpful. Please let me know. And I'm so grateful you guys are here. Please consider subscribing before you go if you like this video, if you haven't already. If you would like a private reading with me for more information or anything at all that you want to inquire about, uh, my email is down below. We can set something up. And if you want to donate to the channel, never expected. Much appreciated. That information is there as well. But anyways, I hope you guys like this. I hope you are well. And I will see you soon. Bye, goodbye.